so I am painting a little tray. Um, it's like a little wooden tray. It's uh, it's upside down right now, but um, painting this uh, silver, and it was I think like six dollars from Joanne Fabrics and uh, the paints and everything. So this will be like a little drink tray and a uh, spot for our remotes uh, for the new coffee table that we are in the process of making. Okay, so I finished my little tray. It's still wet, but it'll uh, dry soon. So this will be our little drink tray or for a remote or something as we're using it. Um, so I will show you when it's dry and can pick it up. I am getting ready to go outside to uh, stain the crates that you saw Herschel um, sanding earlier. So, so I showed you guys the uh, the grief of all of the uh, painting that took. It took about an hour or so. Uh, so we have four of these, and um, this is what it looks like now. So we've painted these. And uh, this is what it looks like as of right now. So everything is drying. Noelle went back to get more uh, materials for the bottom. And once this is complete, it's going to look pretty sweet. It's going to look really, really nice. So this color here that we have is called Cabernet. I don't know if you can see it there. I want to. So, it's a, a really nice color. We try to match the fireplace that we have, but uh, overall, I think this is going to be really, really nice. We'll assemble it tomorrow. Actually, today is Friday, so it'll be up and ready this weekend. Okay, so this is this is uh, some bad lighting. Uh, do you mind turning on that light, Noe? So, uh, Noel went and got uh, some plywood, as I mentioned in the uh, a little bit earlier. They cut it in half, uh, so this is pretty much... Up, uh, oh, you're okay? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> this is pretty much it cut in half, but we also have uh, two pieces outside that are already cut, stained, and sanded. Uh, just to save your ears, you can go ahead and open it. To save your ears, I didn't actually show me sanding it. Uh, but, uh, we've already sanded it and we've already stained it, so, hold on. Okay, so, of course, it's now nighttime. Uh, sanding, uh, happened a little bit ago, so it was good that we did that. Of course, there's, uh, noise restriction hours here, but, uh, we finished it. You can't see it, but down in between there is a little piece of wood that we've sanded, uh, and, uh, stained, and then we have this piece of wood here that's sanded and stained. So right now it looks like a jumbled mess, but once we assemble it, it's going to make a whole lot of sense to you. So uh, that's pretty much it for now. Uh, we've done everything we need to do uh, tonight as far as sanding and staining goes. Uh, tomorrow is the actual build. So uh, I think you're going to really like what it looks like. Because... Uh this is getting assembled today. It looks assembled, but it's still in pieces. We have to screw everything together. Um, but this is going to become our new coffee table, and it's all done by us. Well, some pre-assembled stuff, but for the most part, we're designing it and everything. So I, I think one of the coolest little features of this, uh, aside from like the built-in storage that you get with it, um, is we have like we have a false bottom, and it's really cool. So here, right, it looks like this is the end, <laughs> but you lift this up and you can go even deeper. <laughs> so we have brackets here um, and then we have the little false bottom. So basically we could use this for internal storage, but Herschel came up with a brilliant idea that we're gonna set a little bowl of potpourri in there, so that way um, we'll always have some smell good and it'll be hidden from the cats and hidden from the kids. 
and then we'll have the false bottom here and we can set like a plant or when I get flowers or a candle or whatever right there in the middle uh, to add some uh, instant decor. So super, super excited. We're going to screw these together um, and then we're going to assemble them to the base and then we're going to assemble casters to the base and we will have our finished product. So the other thing that I did yesterday um, was I got this little tray uh, and I don't know, it was like $6, I think 50% off, so it's pretty cheap. Um, and I painted it with just regular silver acrylic like craft paint. And so that'll be like a little tray if we want to have our drinks on it or uh, for remotes or what have you. Um, so that'll just be able to add to the piece as well. So super, super excited to get this finished product and uh, we'll show you once we have it done. See ya. These are the final screws that are going into this table to be finished. So we are assembling the casters. Hang on, baby. That's it. That's all she wrote. Well, um, we will include a link, or not a link, we'll include the directions or like the materials that we used in the description. Um, but basically, we used four craft boxes, which are the boxes. We got those from Hobby Lobby. Um, not Hobby Lobby. I don't like Hobby Lobby. We got those from Joanne Fabrics, <laughs> and uh, which is my preferred craft store. Then we got the stain, which we used a Cabernet stain. Uh, the casters, uh, we had some screws. We got some other screws, uh, and we got the plywood all from Home Depot. And uh, everything else... Uh, it's, oh, and uh, the brackets. So we had the brackets. Uh, we got those from Home Depot as well. So we used four of the craft boxes. Um, they're 12 and a half inches this way and then 18 inches that way. And then the plywood was like 70 centimeters. I don't know what that converts to inches because it was on the dot 70. We'll have to color that in. See that split? Oh my goodness, yeah. So we did have one split, which we'll have to fix with the um, with some stain. We can do that. Um, so the plywood, I had them cut that at to size for us at Home Depot, and then the other little small middle insert, I also had them cut. So here you can see that false bottom that I was talking about earlier, and if I get the piece. This is the right way. This fits in on the brackets. And then you have a, a more usable shelf at that point. So this is it. This is the finished product. So it's on the casters. So it moves on the wheels. We didn't get like the locking casters. We just got the small, uh, small ones and uh, you just have to make sure, and they're not swivel casters either, so that you just have to make sure that um, when you assemble them, that you assemble them all together. But overall, we started this um, yesterday with the staining. We let them sit in the bathroom overnight. Um, we painted them outside, we stained them outside. They sat in the bathroom overnight to dry out. Um, we didn't. We did not do a varnish or a polyurethane or anything. And they've dried perfectly. And uh, then we assembled them today. So you could probably 
excuse me, you could probably do this as a day project, um, but you want to make sure that you let it dry completely um, before you really handle them and assemble them. So um, overall, probably like actual work that you're putting into it, maybe two hours for the staining, for actual staining, and then you let it dry, and then probably another hour for assembly. So um, not too bad, and we're really pleased with it. And this just adds a nice, oh, I got stuck on the carpet. Just adds a nice little touch to our living room now. So this is something, we didn't have a coffee table. And this came to us on a whim of doing this. And we're very pleased.